Hi, welcome to Dan's Kitchen. And today I'm gonna to be making something that's called spicy French toast. And you'll enjoy it. At Sam's Club, I don't know if you can see it. One of the best sausages I ever seen. Um, I mean expensive, $15 for like uh, two pounds. But well worth it, well worth it. That, I mean barbecue it, uh, fry it, whatever. It's, it's just a good sausage. And uh, we got some uh, de-seeded jalapenos, some onion, and some cilantro, and uh, the sausage all chopped up. And we're gonna fry it up and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, we're gonna start out with a little bit of bacon grease, just to get things rolling. I don't throw bacon grease, I hide it. There you go, get that hot. Here we go, we'll throw in some onion. Throw in my peppers. You know what, we'll throw in the sausage. Okay, that fried, and now I'm gonna put this in this bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna make the, the topping for the spicy French toast. And what it consists of cilantro, un, uh, cilantro, tomato, pepper, and some honey. So it'll be like a sweet taste, sweet, hot kind of thing. So let me chop up these peppers. Always use a good sharp knife. Watch your fingers, watch what you're doing. Don't get distracted. Gentle pressure. Chop it up, you don't want it too lumpy. You get the idea. Okay, I got our tomatoes, our jalapeno, and our cilantro, and I'm back. A little bit of salt, a little bit of honey. That's it. That's our sweet. And now we mix. lime in there not a lot about that much just to give it that extra zing Can you smell me? that lime smells great my mouth is watering and I cut it Okay, now I'm gonna break six eggs in here. How many is that? Three, four, five, and six. Okay. salt, a little pepper, and a little bit of paprika just for color. 
That's it. Paprika, not cayenne. And I'm gonna beat this just like this. I got our frying pan getting hot right there. Okay, our pan is hot. Gonna throw a little butter flavored Crisco in there. Just because I like it. Just like that, let that melt. Gonna take our bread. I don't know if you can see it. Right like that. There you go. And get a fork. Throw our bread in there like that. Put a little of this on top. Give it a turn. Move on our oil. And it's gonna go in here. Like this. Let's do another one. I think we can put another one in there. There you go. Take a little bit more action and put it on top. Just like that. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Let that fry for a minute. I flipped one and now I'm getting ready to flip the other one. Let that cook. Just like that. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on that. Gotta have cheese. Just like that. Just like that. That's mozzarella, and I'm gonna put a little of this one on there. This one's sharp cheddar. Not too much it is. Let that cook. Just like that. Cooking for about a minute. Uh, now I'm gonna flip it over on the other side and melt the cheese. Let that melt for a minute, then we're gonna plate. I think we're ready to plate. We're gonna garnish it with a little bit of parsley. Just like that. And then we're gonna put our uh, tomato and honey action. Here we go, bring it closer. Give that a mix. It's got a sweet, hot, sour taste. So it'll It'll mix with everything. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of hot, a little bit of uh, sour. It'll mix. There we go. All we need is a test subject. What are we looking at? We're looking at spicy French toast with a, a sweet, sour, and hot uh, relish. Uh, basically, it's pico de gallo, uh, but no onion. And it's got a sweet, hot taste to it. It's got a little honey in it. And it should balance out all the flavors. It should be explosion mm -hmm. in your mouth. All different flavors, the onion, the cilantro, wow. everything. And the cheese and all that stuff. Um, exactly like you said. See? Wow. When people, cook, when people cook, they only cook at one level of flavor. Well, me being me, I don't like that. I like to cook at different levels of flavor. So while you're eating, you're tasting different levels of flavor coming through. So you mm -hmm. might say that's, that's gajikanes. No, no, that's just the creative part of me. 
Bomb. Subscribe to my channel, Cooking with Dan, uh, good old boy. Uh, if you type in Gypsy Pitmaster, you'll find me. Uh, gypsy food, gypsy cooking, gypsy trucks, whatever. Subscribe and hit the notification button uh, when I put on a new video. Thank you and God bless. We have another test subject and she's gonna try it out. Go ahead. Mm. Delicioso. <laughs> there you go. Not only in English, but in Spanish, too. Ah!